So this is really cool. I drove down here to Kenai Lake and I've got a bunch of trumpeter swans and I'm not sure what else is out here. Some other little ducks. I think they're mergansers. Let's see. Yeah, they're common mergansers are out here. So it's really, really cool. So let's see what kind of footage I get of these. Hopefully they'll swim back to this side for me of the lake. So we shall see. So yeah, these swans are starting now to move towards me, which is really cool. A um, little bit about the rig real quick. Um, the 500 F4 Mark II again, the EF version with the adapter. Running to the R6, so I'm running about 800 millimeters effective focal length. And these guys are almost clear across the end of here at Kenai Lake. So I've got enough reach to get them. If I need to, I'll go back to the truck. I forgot to bring my 1.4 adapter with me. But I probably won't need it. They're filling the frame pretty good because swans are a pretty big animals. So I'm going to get back at it and I'll talk to you in a minute. So what's really cool, guys, I've got uh, trumper swans and golden eyes over there. Common golden eyes, it looks like. And I think a couple mergansers mixed in. Uh, I don't think they're going to come to my side of the lake. They seem to be on that side eating that grass. I was hoping they'd come over here, but I don't think so. So I don't think I'm going to get good shots of the golden eyes, but I'll probably get good shots of the swans if they'll move a little bit closer. So let me get some more footage of these guys, and I'll talk to you here in just a minute. Well, I was gonna get you some EVF footage, what I can see through my viewfinder, but my uh, battery's dead on my Atomos, so I can't do that. So you're just gonna get what I can show you and I'll talk a little bit about what I'm seeing through my viewfinder and what the images are. I'll tell you right now, even being clear across the lake, this autofocus is grabbing the heads of these birds or grabbing the body when their butt's up in the air quite well. It's just grabbing it perfectly like I'd expect always. And I'm still hoping these birds will get closer to me. If not, I'll have to move and stuff because it is a little cold late out here on the snow and ice, even though I've got good pants on a good uh, jacket right now. And it's starting to snow a little bit, so there is that. So I'll get some more footage and I'll talk to you here in just a minute.
So a little more about my setup. Um, on top of just the camera gear, I've got the Benro gimbal and I've got the ground pod skimmer, which is perfect for the snow. So I can just slide it around when I need to slide it to. It uh, just makes it real easy to move around. Um, you know, I could have the tripod, but I couldn't move it left and right like I can this ground pod skimmer. It's just great in the snow. It's really cool. Tundra Sloans, there's some more living my left, but they're still just same distance out. So this is kind of aggravating. Every once in a while, one of those female mergansers will come to my side and slip out. The swans are getting close, so I, I'm just kind of trying to bide my time and only talk to you guys between the times that the swans aren't as spooky, the mergansers are pretty spooky, and the golden eyes are real spooky. They're staying way on the other side. So yeah, just, it's just a waiting game. But like I said, this ground pod skimmer makes it so nice just to be able to move around real fast where I need to move around to, which is really cool. Oh, it's starting to snow a little bit on me. Every once in a while I see some snowflakes, so I don't know how much longer I can stay out here today. But let's talk a little bit about the settings I'm using on the camera today. So it is completely gray. There's, uh, it is completely overcast. It's snowing from time to time. I can't even see the tops of the mountains because the snow that's falling up there higher. Um, the snow is reflecting, giving me some light on these birds and stuff. <laughs> But for the most part, it is flat, diffused light, which is cool because there's no shadows. So that part's good. And the water in front of me is completely calm, which is pretty nice. A little bit halfway out, I got a little bit of a tiny ripple. But for the settings on the camera, what I'm shooting is I'm shooting uh, about 1000 to 1250 on the shutter speed. There's a golden eye coming my way, so I'm keeping an eye on him too. So if I stop in the middle, that's what's happening. In my ISO, I'm keeping around 1,000 to 1,600 to maybe 2,000. And one bit of advice I'll give you on shooting your ducks and your birds and things like that is uh, don't chase your ISO. By that, what I mean is don't, you wanna get your ISO as low as you can get it. But what I see a lot of people doing is they're shooting at 100 to 200 on the ISO, try to keep it there. But by doing that, they're suffering with their shutter speed. So their shutter speeds are 1 20th a second to one two hundredths of a second. And with the 500 millimeter type lens, you're gonna be introducing a ton of motion blur. You're gonna get a few shots that are clean, that are no motion blur, because everything stops at the right time. But you're gonna have a lot of shots that are bad. And with these modern mirrorless cameras, what my advice would be is to get your shutter speed right. And of course, get your aperture where you want it. So if you have an F8 lens, you'll have to balance a little more on your ISO. So chase your shutter speed, not your ISO, would be my advice. So get your shutter speed set right. So these birds right here, I could be shooting 1 500 to 1 thousand. So the reason I'm shooting 1 thousand is in case they do a kick or a dive. So I want to capture that motion, that water kicking off. Or if they take off, I'm kind of prepared. 1 thousand is a little slow for takeoff, but it still is better than being at 1 500. And from there, I'm pushing mine with the F4 to about 1,000 on the ISO. And But if you're shooting F8, you're probably going to be about 2,000 or around there. Don't worry about that ISO and these modern mirrorless cameras. DxO and Topaz will clean up any extra noise you got. And really, you don't even need it. Past 10,000, that's when I start to worry. So when I'm shooting here, I I'm not worried about it. If I need to go up to 2,500, 3,200, I'm gonna probably sitting at 6,400 on the ISO. So again, what my advice is, don't chase your ISO, chase your shutter. So get your shutter speed right, and then don't worry as much about that ISO. You can shoot higher because the worst image you're gonna get is you're shooting really low ISO with a blurry image and you don't want that. Motion blur will kill it because where it's gonna kill it is in one little spot, the wing, the shoulder tip, the eye somewhere. So you don't wanna have that happen. So again, chase that shutter, don't chase that ISO. I hope that explained that well enough. If not, just ask me in the comments. Uh, all these little ducks are getting closer to me. So I'm going to shut up, put my hood up and lay down and see if I can get them to move in a lot closer. Uh, I will talk to you here in a second if it happens.
<laughs> so yeah, I don't, these guys aren't gonna get closer to me. I wish they would, but there's just a whole bunch of them sitting over there. It's really cool to be able to sit here in the snow and tundra and watch these birds. Just wish they'd get closer. I'm still gonna go to the car, get the teleconverter, sneak back out here and see what I can get. Every time I think I'm gonna give up, some of these mergansers start getting closer and closer, but you probably can't see them there, but they're all on the other side. So I'm gonna go get my teleconverter, come back down, see if I can get any closer shots of them. And then I'm probably gonna call it a day here on this ice. But as I say that, like I said a second ago, here comes some mergansers. So let me get those, go get my teleconverter and see what I can get. <laughs> a couple mallards taken off there. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'm gonna see what I get and I'll hopefully talk to you here in a minute. Well guys, I don't know if you can see it, but it has started snowing on me pretty good here. So I think I am done with these ducks. But look at this, this is just fantastic out here. I couldn't ask for more fun time to be able to do this in the dead of winter, to have these swans and these ducks. I've got merganders, golden eyes, ring neck duck I saw over there, pretty cool. Now, they don't want to get close enough to me is the problem. Uh, they were, they're feeding on the wrong side right now. So I don't think I got any bangers, but I may have got some pretty decent image. I think I got some fun little video. But it was just a fun run down here to run down to Kenai Lake to see what was out here. And I got lucky and found some. So as always, guys, like, subscribe, share, watch the video all the way through, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. And you guys stay safe and go run that shutter.